Well, March is Women's History Month, and today we're celebrating the success of a local business owner who has made a name for herself in fashion. Yep, joining us now, Stephanie Munoz of Impose Fashion. Thank you so much for being here. I got a look at your catalog online. <laughs> Some really good stuff, but why don't you just tell us how you got started and what Impose is all about? Well, good morning. I hope that everybody's yeah. feeling amazing. I'm super excited and blessed to be here with you all. Um, so Mpose, honestly, it's a woman's luxury brand. Um, I've been working on it for quite some time. I, I've been designing since I was eight years old. And um, I remember being in high school and I was making denim bags and then selling them to my peers. And it was like, hey, if you have you know, your jeans, bring them to me, I'll take $2 off. <laughs> so I was already kind of initiating that Crafty upcycling, already, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then from there, you know, I went to Massar, I, I studied fashion design and you know, I did a couple internship programs. And then I was a creative director for a company where I was, as I was told, the Tom Ford of the company. I had a very different vision. I approached it differently. I wanted to open markets for them. And so pandemic hit and you know, um, as a single mother, like I have to keep things going. And so I always knew that I had the entrepreneurial bug inside of me, mm. which was inspired by both my father and my stepdad. And, um, yeah, once once we were in it, I, I registered the business, we, we got it going, and I had my clientele. So if you follow what I do, I do work with a lot of um, professional athletes. Yeah, who do, you have some high profile clients. I do. I mean, yeah. that's so awkward what I say. How did you know, that happen? How did you connect with <laughs> them? And like, who are they? Like, who, who? <laughs> so um, if you guys love football, you know, New England, let's, I mean, you guys know. Of course. Um, so Devin McCourty and Jason McCourty, I have worked with them on We've heard of them. projects. <laughs> you know, they're just the guys. Um, and so I've worked with Devin for this season. So every Sunday, being able to see my stuff oh. on TV was just so big. I've worked with Sony Michelle, dressing him for the um, ESPY Awards. And I've always said, it, I'm going to have my stuff on the red carpet. And, and I've done it. I'm slowly like getting there, right? Um, and what else? I mean, they, I mean, they've done an amazing job at supporting me and my brand. Um, you know, I am a woman owned business and a very male yeah. Yeah, dominated, you know, industry. dominated industry. But it's about more than your brand. You're involved in the community. You have your own nonprofit I suited sure for do. fashion. Yeah. Like, how do you get all of that off the ground specifically, like a nonprofit, <laughs> when you're thinking about a for-profit industry? Um, so honestly, that I've always wanted to impact my community, and that's always something that's been extremely important to me. And this idea, honestly, and this passion really just came from wanting to help a friend who had her own business in Lawrence, Mass. Mm. Um, a dance academy is called Rimo Canela. Um, they're amazing. They're fabulous. Uh, my daughter is on there, and so what happened was that I. Saw saw um, that a lot of the parents were struggling okay. to um, pay for the tuition and pay for the costumes. It's costly. And so I took the initiative of, you know, kind of wanting to help them be able to finish the year because a lot of the parents are taking the students out and I felt so bad and I was like, all right, like mm. how can we fix this? So I got a group of women in our community and in my community um, that they saw the the passion, they saw the love that I had for that, and they understood the vision. And so we put together our gala back in 2022. We raised funds, and we were able to give them, you know, an opportunity to get their costumes, finish off the season, and here we are two years later. Wow. Okay, officially a 501c, you know, three wow. nonprofit. We're gearing up to have our second annual gala, um, and our focus really now has become to truly um, be the space that we create for our youth, our creative youth. So a lot of times the arts is seen as an elective when it should not just be an elective or you yeah, know, just an extra so thing. Important. Well, Stephanie, thank you for joining us. So successful, Absolutely. such a good role model, especially for working moms, such a trailblazer. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Really appreciate it.